At the front line, with the guns in action, the order is run. We reach Ukrainian positions in the city of Bakhmut. We can't say where, but the Russians are close, we are told. Just 400 meters away. Troops are standing their ground here, but in this corner of the Donetsk region, it's tough. No. Alexander leads the unit no, and knows the cost of war, not only from fighting his own battles. My brother died, he says, but I don't know where and when exactly, because he was drafted by a different drafting office in a different region. As well as my brother, a few of my comrades died. As battles rage just beyond the building, they deploy one of the key weapons of this conflict. Roman, the drone operator, has become a father since the war began. He has seen his baby son, Carrillo, only once. Oh. He's fighting, he says, to stop the Russians committing more atrocities. I don't want them to do what they did in Bucha, he tells me. I lived in Kiev. I understand very well what women feel. If we are weak, they will come for our families. So they defend every inch of territory. We've been hearing plenty of shelling, but not just shelling. There's small arms fire, which suggests that the Russians and the Ukrainians are not far apart. We have to be careful here. We've been told there is a Russian sniper operating from that direction. For the troops here, this is a grind, day and night, a hard battle to hold this position and stop the Russians from pushing into Bakhmut. President Putin claims this is now his, part of the territory he officially annexed on Friday. Soldiers here say he's deluded. And inside the city, at the fire station, Yuri Galich and his unit are trying to keep Bakhmut alive. As the Russians rain death from the skies. And this is every day. This is all the time. This is all the time. In the last few days, unfortunately, we see the shelling is growing in intensity, he says. That was very close, he tells me. Still, Yuri and his men won't abandon the city. They go rushing in, looking for signs of life. Is anyone here? He shouts. This time, no broken bodies in the rubble, because those who lived here are long gone. Driven out, like most of the city, by Russian attacks. For Yuri, duty keeps calling. Here, an apartment block damaged by more shelling. Vladimir Putin has brought his war to her doorstep. Now he's doubling down, illegally annexing Ukrainian territory. This is a dangerous new phase in Europe's newest war. The city centre bears the scars of his attacks and echoes to the sounds of his war. Imagine this was your home, torn to pieces. It seems abandoned. Then Ludmilla peeks out. A pensioner who cannot walk, defenseless and terrified. She tells us most of her neighbours have gone, 
and the building is leaking. A man was killed in the yard yesterday, she says. But she and her husband don't have money to leave. At the cemetery, on the city's edge, a last goodbye for a loved one. There are plenty of fresh graves here for those killed in recent months. Suddenly, an exchange of shelling. Incoming rounds are getting closer. Neither the dead nor the living are safe here. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Orlegiran, BBC News, Bahmut.